Okay, now that we have a basic understanding of how a, a view instance is uh, built and what's inside it, um, so the option subject and its data properties, um, we can learn how to actually output some information onto the page, so inside our uh, template. What we have now, what, what, what you are seeing now, is um, same thing that we had before, so uh, you can copy um, the files that you had before, and so just a plain uh, HTML file with a, the um, CDN uh, script and in a main.js file with a view instance. So that's what we did in the previous video. Let's delete this bit of the need. Okay, so we have our view instance, we have our option subject, and we have inside it two of the uh, properties that we can define for the uh, option subject. So a, a DOM element uh, property, which is the EL property, and a data uh, property, which is the data uh, object. And inside the data object, we define two uh, properties so alert and projects now it would be cool if we could uh, output something inside our uh, index.html uh, file and see it into the page so in here and Vue.js um, uses the mustache syntax so double curly brackets to render the data from the view instance in the, inside our HTML file. So like that. And uh, using the syntax, so we can grab properties and methods defined inside the view instance. And the property is then parsed and rendered onto the page uh, so that we can see it when we refresh, when we save. And you will see we have here immediately the content of the alert property. So um, let's go back to our template file. So uh, in this code, uh, we have simply um, put this alert message inside the hub, but of course the root element, but of course we could also do h2 and h2 and add it inside uh, inside it or better let's remove this and let's say h1 okay so um, we we use this alert uh, and we render it as the title of the page so it's the main h1 but we could do better we could actually uh, okay we have an alert let's define another property and let's call it title and let's say my portfolio Okay, so we have now a new property inside the data object, uh, which is called, let's close this and let's move this one, which is called title, uh, which is different from the title inside the uh, um, object of the project array. And we can grab this, of course, by simply calling it in here. Okay, there it is. Okay. Uh, so now we will see the title appear onto the page and uh, why is that happening? Uh, so um, the, H, uh, the H1 uh, tag um, has inside it curly brackets, syntax, double curly brackets, and it's used to render the value of the property inside that object. Uh, so view knows when it sees the syntax that it needs to grab something from the HTML file, uh, some the, from the JavaScript file, so uh, reads the content of the data object and it uh, renders its value inside our HTML file. And let's see what happened now inside our HTML. If we inspect the code and select the H1, of course, you will see that 
inside here we have an h1 and the content so the value of the property title okay so um, uh, let's see uh, what, what else we could do um, so we we passed here to the title uh, a value which is a simple string and we can pass to it only string if we want to render its content using the mustache syntax. Uh, if we use HTML tag inside the value of a property of the data object, we will need to use a different approach to render uh, this content. Let's see an example. I'm going to create a new title and I'm going to call it a title HTML. So a new property and I'll copy what in here and I'll have the span. And let's do something like that. Um, and then we write portfolio inside this span. Okay, so now we have a new property which contains inside this value also an HTML tag. Let's see what happens when we try to render this one. Let's use an H2 this time and say title html so let's see what's happening here so you see that we see plain a plain string that has inside it of course our html tags so um, this title html property of course will render only plain strings including the html tags so john doe span uh, with some sort of class if we want we could add also class just to make it more real so class equals to page of course since i'm using the double uh, the quotes outside I'm, i cannot use them in here so of course you will see a plain string which contains the span the class and the class value uh, so it's not first parsed. So mm, the curly, the double curly brackets does do not parse um, the what's inside the string as an HTML code. To do that, uh, so if we want to parse a raw HTML string, we need to use a different approach. And we actually need to introduce another concept of view called directives. And in this case, we will use the directive called vhtml inside our HTML tag uh, as an attribute and pass to it the property title HTML that we uh, define. And when we use a, di a directive, uh, the text inside the quotes is considered um, a JavaScript expression, therefore it's computed and its result is then rendered onto the page. So let's create a, so let's uh, create, let's use this uh, view um, directive to see how this new title HTML um, properties are rendered. So let's go back here. And okay, we have this title.html. Instead of that, okay, we will do that B HTML. So this is the view directive. And inside here, we cannot use the double curly brackets syntax, but it's already um, a JavaScript expression in here. So between quotes, we are writing JavaScript code. So if I write title, html okay you will see that right written correctly yes okay you will see that i have now 
the both um, elements and the first one is my portfolio which contains the um, title okay the title property and the second element is it's the h2 and it has the um, title HTML property which contains a string with HTML tag inside it and as you see now it has been rendered uh, correctly has been parsed has been recognized as an HTML tag and converted into the tag and uh, shown onto the page so now of course um both element renders correctly including the second one but uh, we need to pay attention because when we render uh, html like that we expose our application to which um, to access as uh, vulnerabilities so we should never use this approach on user provided contents uh, and so we just pay attention when you you, we, you need to use it so now that we know how to render this information to the page we can uh, dig a bit deeper into the into directives and the next directive that we will study is the vbind directive i'll see you in the next video